Hey everyone, welcome to this session on what's new with Snowflake and Microsoft 2024 edition. Today I'll be covering on the announcements that we have made for the past year, uh, the integrations between different Microsoft technologies and Snowflake, and also some of the roadmap items uh, that is going to come out next. So I'm Shankar, I'm one of the principal architect at uh, Microsoft and a Snowflake data superhero. At Microsoft, I support all of our product integrations between Microsoft and Snowflake and support our joint customers in journey towards implementing surround services with Microsoft and their analytics on top of Snowflake. Disclaimer, some of these things that was mentioned are announced, uh, the dates could change and some of the functionalities and a projected feature might also change. Uh, this is just to give an overview on what is getting announced and what is going to come out next. We are going to start off by looking at the better together story with Microsoft and Snowflake, cover each aspects of the integrations and the joint stories what we have, and uh, finally talk about some of the recent announcements what was made at uh, the summit. To begin with, Microsoft and Snowflake has been a partner since 2018, but we took the partnership to an entire new level by signing the new joint agreement uh, that was that just happened last year at the exact same time. And over a period of year, we have been working together to support a lot of mutual customers in their analytics journey and complementing both of the technologies and engineering together to bring a sim seamless single stack experience for customers. Here on this slide, you can see a couple of videos that is highlighted, uh, including the one that was done between our CEO Satya and uh, the former CEO Frank. And we have the recent one uh, between the CMO Snowflake and our head of data at Azure. And uh, this emphasizes the fact that we are working together at a lot of different angles and also supporting those mutual customers in the joint analytics journey. We'll dig deeper into each of those services that Microsoft has in various workloads and the integrations that we have with Snowflake on each of those. The first one is the data engineering. For data engineering, one of the bigger tool for us is Azure Data Factory. Data Factory is the right solution to integrate all your data, especially when combined with other Azure technologies. Data Factory is a fully managed serverless data integration service that's easy to use, cost effective, powerful, and intelligent. Each of those data factories, you would be able to easily construct ETL and ELT process code free in an environment. It supports both pipelines as well as a drag and drop environment through the data flows. You can visually integrate into from various data sources with 100 plus built-in connectors that is completely maintenance free as Microsoft manages all of those connectors and different versions of it. And you can immediately get, start, uh, get started with Data Factory, building your SaaS pipeline all the way into taking it into production with different integrations and support for Git. For Snowflake, we have a native connector in Data Factory that is in GA. That native connector supports both pipelines as well as for data flows. You can use Snowflake both as a source as well as as a sync. The connector within the data flow supports native source based change tracking. So if you have various use cases where you want to take the model data in Snowflake and pushing it back into your ERP system or your marketing system, this particular feature really helps uh, you through by managing the change capture automatically. We also support Pushdown, which uses the Snowflake's compute warehouse for doing different SQL transformations directly onto Snowflake. And we just introduced the version 2 of the connector very recently. The version 2 of the connector supports the key pair authentication so you can now configure key pair authentication uh, with the Snowflake. A lot of other improvements are coming for this connector, including the update of the new engine, uh, the driver, uh, the update of the new arrow based driver format, and all of those is going to get introduced in version two of the driver. And this connector also supports the native capability of connecting to a private link uh, using the managed integration runtime. So that way you can connect securely to Snowflake uh, using the Microsoft's backbone. The next important one is going to be the AI, ML, and Gen AI workload. 
Microsoft has been a forerunner in AI ever since the adoption of uh, the open AI and the introduction of other additional AI services. Here on the screen, you can see the complete AI portfolio of what we have. It starts from the AI infrastructure and has an integrated stack experience with AI studios, bundled with a couple of cutting edge models that you can pick up, uh, including our own very own Azure open AI models and other open source and small language models. And with that is powered by the Azure AI services, which has a bunch of different supplementary services, including the cognitive services, which is now branded as the Azure AI speech, vision, uh, the AI search for different vector-based use cases, the document intelligence for converting and parsing different documents. And finally, you have the Azure machine learning, which helps you uh, to do different machine learning workloads, including doing a complete prompt engineering using the prompt flow uh, with built-in responsible AI and model design, as well as the capability to build and fine tune your different models and also train them using your own data. With Azure AI, we have a native integration with Azure Machine Learning to Snowflake. Uh, it does support Snowpark pushdown, so you can actually build a Snowpark model, train the data within the Azure Machine Learning and deploy it directly into a Snowpark workload within Snowflake. We have published the Azure Open AI integration pattern and that followed by a couple of hands-on workshops and webinars that shows how you can integrate and leverage Azure Open AI within different integration patterns and data coming in from the Snowflake Data Cloud. Uh, we are happy to announce that uh, Snowflake Arctic LLM is now available on Azure Model Catalog. If you have various use cases, you can leverage the state-of-the-art Arctic LLM models directly within the Model Catalog within the Azure AI. We, are, we announced the ability to do prompt engineering uh, within prompt flow. That prompt engineering basically is going to help you do all of those different metrics and engineering required for your prompt and having the ability to directly access that from Snowflake using the Snowpark external access. So you're basically isolating all of the functionalities and the data within Snowflake. We published the pattern and the workshop on using the Snowpark external access, which can directly call the Azure OpenAI and the prompt flow with using the Azure OpenAI. And you can also leverage that model to pull in different choices of models from the model catalog, uh, including not just the OpenAI, but the other models that Microsoft and a lot of our partners are publishing to. The next segment is going to be security and governance. Uh, for security and governance, our key item uh, item of choice is going to be Microsoft Purview. Microsoft Purview as uh, it was used to be called as Azure Purview, but now is expanding into the broader Microsoft ecosystem. It consists of different features and functionalities such as the data producers and consumers, uh, personas for the data officers, uh, which consist of uh, the ability to do data cataloging from multiple different on-prem cloud and SaaS applications, uh, support for data sharing uh, within different organization right within Purview, uh, data estate insights that helps you to uh, provide access related stuff within the data estate, and a policy engine which helps you govern access to the data right from a single glass pane view and uh, all of this is built on top of data map which is uh, automatically en enabling you to manage metadata and data lineage at scale and uh, snowflake is one of the connectors uh, that is available for purview we have a connector that is in ga for purview it is a native connector uh, it supports extracting to, through the metadata as well as the ability to do a scope scan scan for certain features within your snowflake objects uh, it does support data catalog so you can see all of the list of columns measures and values from within Snowflake, including the tables and views right into the system. Uh, it does support data classification. We just rolled out that feature where you can classify the data using different column types that is built into Purview and also using the extended capabilities that Purview has to offer. We support labeling where you can apply different labels for your data, which helps you identify which column it is and where the data is coming in. And we show robust lineage across the board, not just with Snowflake objects, but the objects that it integrates to, such as other sources, data factory pipelines, and including Power BI. And for Purview, we are working on rolling out the private preview version of the uh, data 
policy engine, which helps you apply different policies right within Snowflake. For data applications, our go-to platform is Microsoft Power Platform. Uh, it consists of uh, different tools and technologies all built into a single interface, which is completely SaaS-based. Power Apps can improve efficiency by integrating commonly used software into a single application streaming processes and avoiding data duplication. We have Power Automate, which enhances productivity by automating tasks, saving time and reducing manual effort. We have different additional technologies within the Power Platform, including virtual agents for building different intelligent agents and bots, and Power Pages for building different and securing external business-based website. And it comes with a native integrations expanding to the AI builder, uh, the Dataverse, which is a centralized location that can consolidate all of those different data, including integrating with Dynamics and supporting all of the data requirement uh, that is there for the Power Applications. For the Power Platform, uh, we just announced the public preview of the Power Platform connector. It's a native connector that is managed by Snowflake. It supports the Power Apps Canvas applications, uh, the Power Automate run runtime and the pipelines, as well as Logic Apps. It is based on Microsoft Entra ID and uses OAuth authentication. So the security is built in so you can leverage your existing single sign on with Entra ID right for using the connector. And for what is coming next, we are also looking at possibility of extending this connector to bring in some more different features, right? And also bringing in the ability to integrate with Dataverse as well. For BI and analytics, uh, we have our flagship product, Power BI. Uh, Power BI uh, has always been a leader in BI, and uh, this is again uh, a proof, a testament to uh, the power of the tool and how customers are using it. Power BI is still again the leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant in terms of analytics, and we have. Uh, we have had Snowflake connector for Power BI for quite some time. Uh, this uh, connector basically is native and it supports both the ability for reports through the data sets as well as the ability to use data flows right from within Power BI uh, to connect into Snowflake. The connector supports uh, both import mode and direct query as well as the composite provider mode. We have done quite a bit of performance improvements on this connector with a direct query, specifically around uh, the announcement and release of the horizontal fusion, which we did earlier this year. And we have been continuously updating those connectors to uh, bring in certain more performance improvements. Right now, the connector uh, for the Snowflake as a source supports the Power BI Copilot as well. So you can use Copilot experience within the Fabric Capacities queue to actually build report, start interacting with the data in your report, and all of these is supported with Snowflake as a source. And we just rolled out the support for dynamic tables, so you can use the dynamic tables in Snowflake and access it directly in Power BI. Some of the enhancements what we are working on is to roll out a new driver update, uh, which is based on the arrow format, which significantly updates it. And we are also working on bringing in some more additional authentication support as well. Finally, we have the Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is our unified data platform for the era of AI. It brings all of the capabilities that we add individually through different services together into, into a single unified analytics platform that goes from the data lake to the business user in a SaaS-like environment, which make it, makes it one-stop shop for all your analytics need for every enterprise. With Fabric, uh, we bring we leverage customers and we bring the customers to enjoy an end-to-end and highly integrated single offering that is easy to understand on board to create and operate all of the different stacks. And uh, the basis of Fabric is built on top of one lake, which is a managed SaaS data lake experience that supports all different types of data format and a variety of data use cases. We made some major announcement at the Microsoft build uh, together with Snowflake in integrating Fabric uh, with Snowflake. And that was followed by uh, the announcement that was made at the Snowflake Summit in expanding some of these partnership. Within Fabric, 
we are going to bring in the apache iceberg support for one lake using the uh, apache x table that microsoft started we are bringing in the support for one lake in snowflake iceberg tables and external stage so snowflake can get a seamless experience and access to all the data artifacts within one lake we are promoting and bringing in the bi-directional data access through the translation so the data stored in one lake through any format would be accessible to snowflake and snowflake would also be able to operate and write back to the data within the one lake in the iceberg format and this follows through the additional integrations that we have with individual services that are getting brought into fabric namely the data factory the power bi as well as the scope for bringing in further enhancements around the microsoft 365 ai studio and copilot where snowflake native object would be an experience I would like to conclude by saying that the AI era is upon us and Microsoft is powering it, right? Like our CEO has said, this technology is going to reshape pretty much every software category we know. And we are happy to partner with Snowflake in bringing all of these integrations so you have a single intelligent AI-based tax experience for your data in Snowflake. Thank you.